Hello everybody, I hope you are doing great. In this video, I'm going to explain another creative solutions from chapter mole from chemistry. So you see 8 gram magnesium oxide and 11 gram carbon dioxide are taken to pro produce 21 gram magnesium carbonate but expected product is not obtained you know this type of questions you have already see my videos on percentage of yield from that concept we can solve this problem so you see 8 gram magnesium oxide and 11 gram carbon dioxide are taken to prepare magnesium carbonate and the amount is also given but the question is the expected product is not obtained i didn't write question number a and b because it can be anything from this chapter so i'm focusing on only chapters uh, question number c and d so c that calculate how much co2 is used in above reaction so what are the reactions actually magnesium oxide and co2 so you see magnesium oxide and co2 will be reacting to produce magnesium carbonate so one thing is important when we will find the reaction we must we must equalize the number of atoms in the reactant and the product part so you see in case of magnesium this is 24 plus 16 and this is hopefully 44 you know it so this is uh, 40 and 44 so from the reaction we can see that 40 gram magnesium oxide will be reacting with 44 gram co2 so we are, we are doing the balancing so from balancing the reaction we can say that 40 gram magnesium oxide is reacting with 44 gram carbon dioxide so from 40 gram magnesium oxide 44 gram carbon dioxide will be reacting in these stem 8 gram magnesium oxide is given so the question is we need to calculate the amount of carbon dioxide that is used in this above reaction so as 40 gram carbon magnesium oxide are there so now you think that 8 gram magnesium oxide will be reacting with 44 times 8 over 40 gram carbon dioxide so you see that this is actually 44 times 8 divided by 40 which is 8.8 .8 gram carbon dioxide but but here 11 gram carbon dioxide are taken so we can see that according to the reaction we are just taking the standard molecular mass from the equations when we just balance it and we see that 40 gram magnesium oxide is reacting with 44 gram carbon dioxide so 8.8 .8 gram carbon dioxide so the number of mole of carbon dioxide as we know this is 44 so 44 gram is one mole so here is using 8.8 .8. so we can find the mole of carbon dioxide is 8.8 .8 over 44 which is 0 0.2 mole so we can say 0 0.2 mole carbon dioxide was used in the above reaction or we can say that 8.8 .8 gram carbon dioxide was used so both the case in case of you can express in gram and also we can express in mole so we understand that it was given that magnesium oxide and carbon dioxide and also interestingly we can find this magnesium oxide is the limiting reactant how because you see this 8 gram magnesium oxide is reacting with 8.8 .8 gram carbon dioxide but 11 gram is also there so we also can find the next answer from this uh, concept that explain the cause of not getting the expected product as because magnesium oxide is 
the limiting reactant so how we can see we can say that that from this equation magnesium oxide you can see that uh, 24 plus 12 plus 16 times 3 is over uh, 84 so from this equation we can say that okay 44 gram carbon dioxide is reacting with this is number d this was number c uh, is reacting with 40 gram magnesium oxide okay so now you see this 11 gram is given so 11 gram carbon dioxide is reacting with 40 times 11 over 44 gram magnesium oxide so we can find 40 times 11 divided by 44 which is 10 so 10 gram magnesium oxide will be reacting with 11 gram carbon dioxide but here 8 gram magnesium oxide are there so you find it this magnesium oxide is the limiting reactant because 10 gram was required to react with 11 gram carbon dioxide but here 8 gram is there so we can say that magnesium oxide is limiting reactant in this reaction so all of magnesium oxide will take part in the reaction so none of magnesium oxide will be left over so now we can say that 40 gram magnesium oxide so we can see this one 40 gram magnesium oxide reacts to produce 84 gram now we will think about the expected product why it is not getting 84 gram magnesium carbonate so this amount of magnesium oxide is reacting to produce 84 gram but 8 gram is there so 8 gram magnesium oxide will produce 84 times 8 over 40 gram magnesium carbonate so we can see this is actually 84 times 8 over 40 which is almost 16.8 gram so 16.8 gram magnesium carbonate will be produced but expected gram was 21 gram so it will not produce the expected was 21 gram but we are producing 16.8 gram magnesium carbonate as because magnesium oxide is the limiting reactant from the stain it should be 10 gram but here only 8 gram magnesium oxide are there so i hope this is very interesting and simple type of questions there are a lot of type of critical type of questions from this chapter you will see that i'm coming up with another type of critical mathematics but this one is type of that mathematics that you must understand clearly the stem is very common you can see this is this questions is very common in question paper so when this type of questions to calculate how much reactant is reacting with these equations then first balance the equation then try to understand i'm just giving you an insight i'm not describing it with the narrative uh, data but i hope you can solve it because you people are talented and i'm, I'm just giving you an idea how to solve it those who are watching these videos let me know that what are the problems that you're facing when you're doing this problem solutions and i am definitely coming up with the answers with this appropriate uh, time so i hope you are doing it in a way so that it should be uh, errorless and i'm really really want your feedback so take care stay well see you on the next video bye